Good morning, my scholars. Today is Thursday, June the 19th, 2020, and we are finishing up our last day with the famous Nini, written by Mary Nathari and illustrated by John Manders. All right, guys, we also have been studying and listening, well, not studying necessarily, but listening to a famous Italian composer named Giuseppe Verde and our opera that our story is based upon is called La Traviata. Ms. Horn called it La Travita and it's actually La Traviata. Learned something new this morning. Um, it is a very famous Italian opera, and some of the words you might pick up when you listen to them sing because Italian has um, a Latin background, which also um, Spanish has a Latin background as well. So you will probably say, man, that word sounds familiar, and it actually does. So just kind of listen to the music. Today it's an instrumental, but when you go back and you take the time to listen to Giuseppe Verde, you'll probably know more of the words than what you think you do. All right, let's get ready for our instrumental version um, of the Brandisi, and this is it. Well, that was certainly fabulous. I thoroughly enjoyed that instrumental of La Traviata, the Brandisi song, or Brandisi song. All right, so now let's talk about the famous Nini. A mostly true story of how a plain white cat became a star. Now, Nini, so far, has done some fabulous things with his life. Who would have thought a plain, stray white cat would have such an influence over the people that are around him? He had poets come and look at his eyes to see if they could become inspired by him. He had the Tsar Alexander the Great send him a collection of nesting eggs, very beautiful nesting eggs, and they're all related to the images and things that a cat would love. And then he's taken over the heart of Nona, She's the owner of the cafe. And the owner 
has taken a liking to Nini, as well as Mr. Verde, the Italian composer. And each time Nini has been given a task or a choice or an um, opportunity to do something for someone else, he took it and he just smiled and he didn't overly act. He didn't overly do something. He just did it with simplistic ways. And the people around him picked up on that and they loved it. Now, as we get to the end of the story, we have some very interesting things to take a look at. While you are watching the gallery walk with the Nanini, I want you to pay attention to how the characters look throughout the story. All right, here we go. And even at the end of our story, there were explanations of how all of these people played a part in this story. I, for one, am very enthused because it gave me a very different look at how a plain white cat can influence so many different people just based upon his personality and his reactions and behaviors with around other people. Very impressive. Well, all right. Uh oh, hold on. Nope, we don't want to do that again. Let's move on to our thinking questions. We have some great thinking questions for the end of our story. And I really think I would like for you guys to pick at least three to answer. Um, I'm good if you answer all of them. You can do them orally answer, but I really want you to stretch and put your answers in the classroom this time because i really want to know are you able to understand the story and our first question that's going to allow us to show me that you understand the story is describe the main characters in the story what were they like did they have a job did they have a purpose? What did they do in this story? Think about those things. My next question, as you're thinking about those things, is would you still want to be Nini? Why or why not? For Miss Horn, I thought, yeah, I want to be Nini. I want to be the inspiration for Giuseppe Verde. Yes, I would love to do that. But then, as Nona was taking all of those opportunities to use Nini, and the people picked up on that, I kind of was like, mm, well, maybe no. No, I don't think I want to be because now it seems as if I don't get any peace. I don't get any quiet because people want everything from me. So it was a kind of a 50-50 split. Yes, 50% of the time, but no, 50% of the time. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe when I find out the end, the end of the story, I'll make my mind up by then. And the last question, what other ways did the owner of the coffee shop bring people and money into her shop? Did this really work? Why or why not? Now, that question is a detailed question and requires you to pay attention to how the story was put together, what did the owner do throughout the story, 
and how did the owner react to those things? So I can't wait to see how you answer that question. All right, and our last four questions are, how did people react towards Nini throughout the story? How did they treat him basically? And then I want you to describe his character. We're still describing his character because I think that's important. I don't want you to um, settle and always think that the way people start in a story is the way that they end in a story. Characters have a way of changing. So I want you to think about, did Nini change at all? And if he didn't, what stayed the same throughout the story? But if he did, tell me when he changed and what action led him to change. Because remember, actions are things that we do. So what are some things that we did that may have caused him to change? But then also, what are some things that were done that helped him stay who he was? My next question is, and this is a big one, because to me, every story has a lesson in it for you. What is one lesson you learned from this story? That's important to me. And it should be important to you because when you sit down and you read a book, I want you to gain something from it, whether it's a piece of knowledge about yourself or an understanding about a new idea or a, just an understanding about the world itself. Lessons come from books, come from movies, come from music. They come from all around. So I want you to always be aware that sometimes the lessons happen even in the most unlikeliest places. And our last question is, were you able to guess what was going to happen at the end of the story? I wasn't. I was completely floored. Completely. Because when we left off yesterday, Nini was expected to do a miracle. And I'm like, who's a miracle worker? So now I got to figure out, did it happen? Did it really not happen? Hmm. Not sure yet, but we're going to finish up the Nini part three, day three, and then we'll get started with the rest of our day. Good morning, scholars. It is Thursday, June the 19th, 2020, and we are on last, our last day of the famous Nini. I personally have loved this book because it builds for me my love of music. It builds in for me my love of culture because I got to see a nesting egg, a Russian nesting egg. And it also builds for me my mind to start thinking about, okay, I didn't like meeting this character here. Where would I have been um, more comfortable meeting that character. So it automatically made me start to think like an author about how I could change this story around. Although it's a great story, what can I do to make this story just a little bit different? And I kind of like that idea. What do you think? Was there something in this story that you thought mm, maybe we could move it around or maybe we could do something a little bit different or maybe even make it more modern? Instead of having um, Giuseppe Verde as the Italian opera or composer, my bad. How about we would do a modern version, and but we'd still keep Nini, but we call him a different cat, a different name. So there are all kinds of things that we could do with this story, which is why I love this story, because it's so versatile and it's so diverse. So, so far, who have we met? That's right. We've met Nona. Anybody else? Yes, we met Giuseppe Verde. Any other people? Because we've had a book full of people. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, the czar. He, we didn't meet him, but he sent some things. You're right. The Pope. Yes. The head of the Catholic Church. Yes. He blessed the Nini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. The King and Queen of Italy. Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. We got to see people in costume. Do you remember that? Does anybody remember for what though? It's only one time of year. I heard that. I somebody's trying to say it. Yes, carnival. Yes. It's kind of like Mardi Gras. What they celebrate in New Orleans or Carnival in Brazil. Yes. 
just like that it is a celebration right before we go into the season of easter very good guys very good we've met some very interesting people in this story and we've had some really great conversations along the way now what is the problem or is there a problem no problem okay so what's going on in our story Yes, Nini is meeting all of these people. And there's this word I keep saying, it's called influence. So the Nini has a great influence over these people. So what do we mean when we say influence? Yep, that's right. He has a presence over these people. He's able to get them to see things or do things that cats can't talk. He never talks in the story. So he's gotta have some kind of influence. He can do it. Love it. Love it. Love it. He's perfect for it. Now, let's hop to our story so we can see how it ends. It's got some really good ending. Yesterday, when we were talking, we left with the Nini about to try to see if he could perform a miracle. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a little concerned. Because I don't think I could do a miracle. Even if I wanted to. Here we go. In our gallery walk, this is where we left off. They're dressed for carnival, and even the Nini has on a mask. Here we go. For the longest time, Nona held Nini in her lap. I love you, my little cannoli, which is a dessert, she said. But you cannot work miracles. When this night is over, everyone will remember you're just a cat, an ordinary stray cat. What will become of us then? She began to cry. Well, let's find out, because apparently he's just an ordinary stray cat. Let's find out. That evening, Verde brought the emperor and his daughter to the cafe. Nona sat them at the best table by the fire. She offered pastries on her prettiest plate. The child in her father's lap took a bite but said nothing. That's Mr. Verde going to get the emperor and his daughter. My daughter, Zedwitu, has not spoken since her mother died, said the emperor. His dark pools of sadness, his eyes, I'm sorry, were dark pools of sadness. That is why I have come to see the famous Nini. Surely a cat who can help Verde find the right note, who can settle a royal argument, oh my, who can cause the Pope himself to smile, can get my Jesuiti to talk. Nona gasped. Please, your highness, forgive my exaggerations. She crossed herself. Those were wondrous things, but not truly of the cat's making. My Nini is just an ordinary stray. So she's trying to prepare him for something. I wonder what it is. All right, my friends. My friends, we are at this point of the story where we're trying to figure out what is going to happen. Remember, Nona is trying to prepare the emperor that maybe, maybe not, his daughter may be able to speak. And if it happens, it'll all because it'll all be because of who? That's right. The famous Nini. That's right. So let's pick up and finish reading and see what happens. I personally can't wait. Hearing his name, Nini sprang to the table. He went straight to Zedwita, who clung to her father. She is afraid, said the emperor. She has never been near a cat before. Nona removed Nini's mask. See, he's just a kitty, she said. Nini stepped closer. Zuita shrank back. Oh my. Let's read on this side so Miss Horn can get you to see the pictures. Really good. This side, right here. Nini stretched out and licked a bit of sugar from the tip of her nose. 
Sweetie stared at Nini. Then she touched his forehead. Nini tiptoed into her lap and leaned against her chest. Suita laid her head on his. Nini purred, Father, she whispered. He makes the sound of angels. Ooh, somebody else mentioned that at the beginning of the story. Do you remember who? Mm, I've got some thinkers out there. Who mentioned that? I don't know. Who've been listening to all week? He's got the music, the classical music. Do we remember? Yep, that's right. Giuseppe Verde. Look at my scholars. They're doing excellent work this morning. Giuseppe Verde is correct. He is the one who said his sounds were like angels. Oh, my. And look at the father. How does he look right now? Is he happy? Is he sad? Take a look at Nona. How is she looking right now? And Zuita, how is she looking? Wow, everybody's excited and happy. I just knew it. Well, no, not really. I didn't know it. But it's good to know that he was able to create a miracle and get her to talk. Tears ran down the emperor's face. My Zuita speaks, he said. The famous Nini has performed a miracle. He hugged his daughter. He hugged Nini. Nona leaned down and kissed, and kissed Nini's round cheeks. Oh, wonderful, marvelous, extraordinary cat, she exclaimed. We must celebrate, Verde declared. Everyone, to my new opera for the first time ever, Nona Framboni took the evening off and a cat was seen at the opera in the best seat in the house. Do you think he deserved that seat? Verde or Nini? My bad, Nini. Do you think he deserved that seat? Yeah, I kind of think he did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. What did he do to deserve that seat? Yes. He got the young lady to speak. He also did some other things in the story that were just fabulous, too. I know. Let's see. Last page. Late that night, under a sparkling of stars and powdered sugar, Nona rocked Nini into her shawl. Nini, my cream puff, another dessert. She said, holding him close, isn't life as sweet as pastry? Nini closed his eyes and purred. The end. And here are Nini and his fans. So at the end of the story, there is a blurb about each and every one of our characters that we met. It was fabulous to read some of that extra information. Ms. Horn is not going to read that information, but I am excited about Nini and his adventures with this story. Now, before I go, don't forget, on the PowerPoint that comes before this, you've got some thinking questions. And Ms. Horn is going to just blow over with excitement when I get to see those answers. Remember, you need to pick at least two questions and respond in the classroom. Now, talking about it with your parents and your siblings, yes, that is fabulous. But I would also love it if you would write your answers out in the classroom because that's how I really know that you're paying attention and that you're completing the story. Well, all right, guys, until next time, take a look at the Nini. Wasn't it just fabulous? Yes, I know it was. See you later.